Hi everybody. All my followers, everybody from YouTube. Welcome to another video. The video today is on a 2007 uh, Hyundai i30. And uh, the engine I believe is the 1.6 uh, diesel. It doesn't really matter for what the problem is. So the problem with this car is that uh, the is with the clutch. The clutch bites really, really early. So let me explain you. So basically, what happens is uh, while you were driving, the gears kind of engage okay, even though you need to press the pedal all the way down to the floor. Uh, if you are stationary, you really need to press the pedal all the way down as much as you can, and even then, uh, the the gears uh, first or second or reverse, whatever, is really hard to engage them. Uh, as you try to engage them, you can see that the gears, they are not synchronized yet, and you, you kind of, it doesn't really grind, but you can feel on the, on the, on the lever, you can feel that the gears are not engaged, and they are kind of, you know, they are not uh, synchronized, and they are kind of grinding on each other, sort of, so it, it is really difficult to, to, to put gears while you are uh, stopped. Um, and uh, even in, and then when you manage to engage the gear, as soon as you move the pedal from the floor, as soon as you start to release the pedal, just you, you feel it's biting already. It's like it's already tried to pull away. So that's the problem with the car. Um, I've done all the the, the first check I've done uh, was uh, check the slave cylinder. Um, if the slave cylinder was leaking which was the only thing that could really happen with that uh, slave cylinder to, to make this to happen, was if it was leaking. So we'd press the pedal, and if it was leaking, we'd lose the pressure, and obviously it would start to retract. Uh, there's no signs of leakage in there, there's no nothing. I pulled the, 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 the rubber uh, membrane, the, the, the rubber protection on the outside, pull it out, there's no oil in there, so the, the, the slave cylinder is, is, is okay. So my next check, my, my, my next uh, thought, oh, obviously there's no other leaks anywhere that, that, that I can see. The, the clutch level is, is, is okay. Um, my uh, next uh, thought was that would be the master cylinder. Uh, now, I don't know, for you guys, um, actually, hold on a second. Okay, so maybe now everybody knows how to how a master cylinder works, the basics. Uh, I know for some of you guys this is going to be a little bit of uh, nonsense, but I hope not for someone out there. I hope he helps. So I've kind of drew a little bit of uh, the basics on a master cylinder, on how a clutch uh, system works. Uh, so these are, these would be your pedal. So why I said it was leaking, so basically the only way, this will be the slave cylinder. So when you press the pedal, the oil is forced into here. And obviously as it fills this chamber here, it's going to push this forward. And that will go and will we'll, um, apply the clutch. So we'll push this here forward. Okay. Now, if the problem was here... The only thing that could happen was the oil would escape through this seal here, okay? And would come out somewhere here at the front. So that was the only way. So when you press, if this was leaking, the oil would, would ex 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 escape and obviously this would retract. There's no oil in there, so it can't be this cylinder here. Uh, so the master. The master cylinder, what could be happening as well, so you have your reservoir, the oil gets into here. When you press the pedal, you push this forward. This goes across this inlet here, and as soon as it gets through there, the seals will seal this here. So this, as this goes forward, it creates a seal. So once you pass this inlet, the oil does nowhere to go. And as you press the pedal, the only way the oil the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to push the oil through this pipe into here and you're going to extend this one. When you release, it does the opposite. 
the, the, this pressure here is going to push this one back. The oil would come back as you release the pedal as well and everything comes back. If these ones were leaking, what would happen is you would press the pedal, the pedal would go over the inlet and then the oil would escape and would go back into this area here, back into the reservoir. Now, if this were the case, and that's how I know is not the master cylinder, as, as such, we'll get there, is that if I press the pedal all the way down, so let's say the pedal, this uh, uh, will come up to here. If I leave the pedal pressed, okay, so obviously when I press that, that will move forward. That will move to there, yeah? So let's say it comes to here. And what happened is, I left the car, I think, for about four hours, I think, four or five hours, uh, with the pedal completely pressed all the way down. And uh, that didn't move. So if the oil was ex escaping through here, that would move back. And it didn't. Which means, once you press, the system is absolutely sealed, it's not leaking nowhere. So, at this point, you might think, okay, so where, where is the oil going? That's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so, on this system, you have this here. So, this is your master cylinder, as, as I explained. So, the inlet and the outlet. So, as the... Um, as the, the, the as you press the pedal, that's going to push the oil through here, then through there, all the way to the slave cylinder. You have these here. Okay, that that part in there is what uh, is called, I believe, a damper. And the the main function of the damper is to um, reduce. Reduce, eliminate um, any feedback from the slave cylinder. So basically, what it does is any vibrations from the pedal, from the the the. So let's say when you press, let's say for example, if the plate, the 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 clutch itself that runs on the thrust bearing, let's say if there's any vibrations from there for from, uh, I don't know, from a uh, uh, warped flywheel, for example, it would do this, would push the pedal. And, and, and that would, put, would push the, 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 the lever in the gearbox, that would push the, the slave cylinder, and obviously that you would fill down the pedal back and forwards. That's where the, 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 the damper comes in. So the damper works as a shock absorber. So the vibrations that comes from that, that side are eliminated in the damper and you don't feel down the pedal so it would be something I don't know something similar like this so we would have is a sort of a cylinder a mini cylinder if, if that makes sense sort of I, I don't know the internals to be honest but the principle is that and this would be for example a spring underneath here and obviously when you press that will give away a little bit just a little bit would keep the system under pressure but a little bit more pressure that would come from from there that would give away a little bit what i think is happening is this is giving away too much so when you press that is coming all the way down and then it builds the pressure into the slave cylinder but by that time you don't have enough oil because you don't have enough uh, um, traveling here to feed that and the slave cylinder so what i'm gonna attempt to do as you probably are already guessing, is get rid of it. Okay? That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to remove this uh, section here. Uh, I haven't done this pipe already. Now we're gonna unclip this and take this sort of elbow off. 
Okay, so it's all here, dismantled already. Uh, to remove this, this is just screwed in there as you can see. So we just take it off. I'm gonna reuse the washer and I'm gonna use a, a sump, oil sump bolt to put in there. So we're gonna put it like this and just uh, blank it off. Okay, so this is now done, as you can see, and uh, the next step before I move forward uh, is going to be flush everything from here up to there. So we're going to put some oil here, uh, a ladder to run through, uh, press the pedal a few times, just to uh, kind of renew the oil in here. Uh, the rest of the oil in the pipe, uh, we'll do that then when we bleed the system you can get rid of whatever is in there but for here we're just gonna clean all this before we put everything back on everything everything back in place as you can see um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fill the system bleed it um, I left I put this here just in case if it drips anything so I can see is it but yeah we're gonna fill bleed and see what happens okay guys um it's all back in place uh all uh the system has been flushed has been uh bleed and i think it's time to try it uh see what uh, what we have here now Okay, let's gonna. Oh, much better. You see, it allows. I don't know if you can see on my foot, but it allows a little bit about an inch before he actually starts to bite. Before, what I was doing was just doing this. You could feel you you, went out, you you would have to kind of force it a little bit to engage, and as soon as I would move just a little bit, just like I don't know five millimeters, you would bite straight away. It was it was nearly biting all the time. Uh, reverse, it was you, you the gears would grind pretty much to to engage reverse. Absolutely fine now. Lovely. Done. Done and dusted. Like someone says, sorted. Right. Everybody. Uh, this one is done. Uh, so it was just that uh, that uh, damper. Uh, but, and I'm gonna, I know I'm saying this at the end of the video. Uh, make sure you check everything. Um, another thing that is prone to happen um, is the the slave cylinder the 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 cylinder itself goes against a plate so with the time is normal for that kind of pin to wear and as you wear as it warms out it gets shorter and shorter and shorter so obviously that's gonna influence as well um, the position how much is gonna extend it's going to extend the same, but because the, the, the pin is going to be shorter, obviously it's not going to push that further. So, um, obviously I checked this one. Uh, it was absolutely fine. There was no wear. I mean, it was a little bit, but nothing uh, significant. Significant. So, uh, that's when I turned around to that. So, guys, really, check everything first before you go to this. Although this is a quite easy solution, as you could see. Um, I, I still not feeling nothing on the pedal to be honest with you I mean there's no vibrations no nothing so I mean I mean it's not different than what was before so obviously if that damper was gone anyway obviously you, you, you wouldn't feel much of a difference so I think that's it for this video uh, problem solved um, 
I really hope you 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 enjoyed the video. I hope there's information here that you can take. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, you know, put them below. And like always, thank you for watching.